Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, this way I'm going to be teaching all of you guys how to use the new Roblox ban API in Roblox Studio to uh, to finally ban people with alt account detection. So no, so people have a harder chance of bypassing the bans. All right. So uh, what this tutorial is going to teach you is how to create a command like a command such as uh, like uh, exclamation point ban username message blah blah blah. Okay. So uh, it's actually pretty simple, okay? So we're gonna, uh, and it's only gonna take one script, okay? And this is gonna be the full command tutorial, okay? So uh, with banning and unbanning, okay? So we're gonna call this ban system, okay? Okay, and let's scale this up so you guys can see properly. Okay, so we're gonna start with local whitelist table equals to this, okay? And basically any user ID that has the ability to ban players will, will go into here. So if you wanna add another one, you can do like one, two, three, and then whatever okay so we're gonna do game dot players dot player added connect oh and first before we do that we're gonna do a local ban and national it's okay uh connect function player if table dot find whitelist table player dot user id so this is checking if the player is actually whitelisted to ban people if not then uh, it will not continue player dot chatted connect function message msg okay we're gonna do if string dot find message and this would be your command thing okay so let's say they do find that correct let's say they do find that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local split message equals to string dot split message comma uh, space so what it's gonna do is gonna like for example let's say someone type ban uh, Bluefinity, for example, right? It's gonna split the message up into spaces, so it will it'll be able to get each individual argument. Okay, so we're gonna do local username equals to uh, equals to split message. This is the second one because the first one is the band thing. Okay, and then what we're gonna do? Okay, so we have username, we have split message too. Okay, and then now we're gonna have to get the message. And what we're gonna do with the message is we're just gonna Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local ban message because basically for a ban message it would be like uh, ban bluefinity right and then exploiting in the game right and what we would want to do is uh, we would just want to get all the text after this correct so what we would do is local ban message equals to string g sub so basically we're gonna substitute out of the message okay ban okay and then the username okay so ban dot dot uh username dot dot space so what this is doing is it's taking out the ban bluefinity part and it's going to start here so that's 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 what the ban message is doing okay and for now let's see if that is actually working so we're going to do print username and we're going to print the ban message and we're going to see if this works for now we'll see if this works Okay, so for example, let's say we do slash ban. It's not gonna work. Okay, look, we'll do ban bluefinity exploiting in the game. Okay, crap. What did I do wrong here? Yep, I know exactly what I did wrong. We're supposed to replace it with nothing. Uh, we're gonna need another comma to show that we are replacing this with nothing. That is my fault. Okay, let's try that one more time. Ban bluefinity exploiting in the game and see look the username is bluefinity and the ban message is exporting in the game perfect okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local user id equals to game dot players get user id from name of sync username and now we're gonna do if user id because we need to see if the name is actually uh, if the user id is actually valid for that player now we'll continue with banning them okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local success Actually, no, we'll not put in a, a success error. We'll tell you if it errors. Okay, so we're going to do game.players, ban a sync, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to make this a table, okay? There's Because there's multiple arguments in here, okay? So we're just going to do user IDs because it needs a table of user's IDs, okay? You have user IDs, I mean. Even though there's only one, you still need that table. So what you're going to put, you're going to put that user ID inside here, okay? And then we're going to go with the comma, okay? We're going to do apply to universe, equals to true and basically what this apply to universe does is basically uh you know how like roblox games might have multiple places like for example there might be a lobby place but then you can get teleported to the game place 
So apply to universal means it bans them from every single place. So obviously you would choose yes, okay? So for the duration, okay, I, I, I believe that the duration is seconds, okay? If you want to do a permanent ban, you would do negative one because, uh, and that basically bans them permanently, okay? And then what you would do, display reason equals to ban message and private reason, both would equal to the ban message, okay? And then what you would do, exclude alt accounts equals to false, okay? So because you want to include this anti alt account thing, okay? Now that you have this, this uh, this player is basically banned, okay? And now let's just go with the unban now. Now let's do, uh, now let's create the command for unban, okay? We're gonna do else if string.find message unban then we're gonna take this and all we're gonna take this here and all we need is the user ID because there's no message needed here okay so local user ID is this local user ID equals the game now players get user ID from name sync username okay and we're gonna do if user ID then game dot players unban a sync okay and we're gonna do it's just two arguments user IDs equals to the user ID and then also apply to universe equals to true so it unbans them from every instance and that should be it okay I'm gonna test this out right now okay we're gonna see if this works so we're gonna do ban bluefinity for exploiting in the game exploiting in the game and did we get an error message? Ban a sync will su succeed. Okay, yeah, skipping. Okay, so it's gonna skip the request in uh, the testing environment because we're testing, but it did go through. Okay, now let's unban Bluefinity. Unban a sync will succeed. Okay, now let's see if we try to like unban a player that does not exist. Failed unknown user. Okay, it will not. It will not do anything for an unknown user. Okay, so. That's all it is, okay? Let's see how many lines of code this. This is 38 lines for a simple unban and ban script, okay? So uh, this script is gonna be in the description, and I think that's basically all you need to know for this new Roblox ban system. So uh, uh, this, uh, as I said, the script is gonna be in the description, and that's for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Bye.